Many people in your party think that uh, you should set out a timetable now to abolish the two-child cap on benefits. Um, so I want to ask you this. You've made a choice already. You have chosen to find an extra £13 billion to keep the triple lock on pensions uh, uh, alive, but you couldn't find £3.5 billion to alleviate child poverty. Now, according to one of your own new MPs, Torsten Bell, used to run the Resolution Foundation, um, if you lifted the cap, half a million children would instantly, instantly be out of poverty. Why can't you do that? We can't promise to do that because of the state You could the promise to pay pensioners £13 billion extra. You've made a choice. Well, look, we have inherited the public finances as they are. And let me be really clear that all Labour MPs yeah, but think you, that no child should grow up in poverty. You just spent four weeks telling us about change. You can't just say, oh, we're going to change, we're going to change, we're going to change, and then say, oh, sorry... We can't do anything about it. Well, what we've actually... You made this choice. No, but if I can just say, what we've actually spent um, the last few weeks during the election campaign also saying is that we are never going to make any promises that we can't say exactly how they're going to be paid for. Uh, we're never going to make a commitment where we can't say where the money is coming from. You know, we know that that economic stability, that fiscal responsibility... I'm not asking you to do that. I'm, everything that I'm, we, I'm asking we you, want to do. I'm asking you where, why you made this particular choice. Uh, and let me just put it boldly. Um, it's a matter of priorities. There are a million pensioners in our household who earn £1,000 a week after housing costs. Uh, we give £5.5 billion to pensioners living abroad. And let me show you something. This is the comparison of children in poverty compared to pensioners. There are twice as many children in this country, 4.2 million, living in poverty, as there are pensioners. I'm not asking you about putting more money, I'm not asking about raising more taxes, but you have made the choice to favour pensioners over children. Is that the kind of change that we can... Ex the set of priorities we can expect from the Starmer government going forward? Well, the set of priorities you can expect are the ones that we set out in the manifesto. And look, when you well, see... Well, one of the ones what you set out was child poverty, and you haven't done anything why, about it. You've given... No, that's, that's not correct. We have already begun the work to set out an ambitious, comprehensive child poverty strategy. The Secretary of State... Yeah, but it doesn't involve giving, it, giving any money to them. You've given all the money to old people. But we're, we're not going to make commitments that we can't say exactly where the money is coming from. And look, let's be, let's be clear that all Labour MPs feel that far too many children's life chances are being scarred by poverty. No child should grow up in poverty. And that's why the Prime Minister has set out this task force which is going to develop a child poverty strategy but, straight away. But my, my point is, you, say, you set up a task force, which, by the way, doesn't apparently have anybody on, uh, the, from the Treasury on it. You set up a task force when you had the opportunity to say, we're not going to stick with the triple lock, we're going to give money that will help to solve the child poverty problem. What you've done is given the pensioners the money and you've given the children a task force.